my God, man, this is my best chin chin, milk chin chin recipe. Welcome back to my channel. You can see the ingredients on the screen. And you know one unique thing about this recipe? You don't need eggs. Still, the chin chin came out so soft and crunchy. Do you know the combination of soft and crunchy? See, I cannot explain it to you until you try it yourself. So, chin chin is a bit straightforward, but knowing the accurate amount of ingredients and their measurements, that's where the wala is. So, you need to watch this video till the end because for this recipe, I used 500 gram of flour. But at the end of this video, I'm going to put the ingredients and measurement if you want to make this this kind of change in large quantity using 1 kg of flour. So you need to stick around. You can see I'm using 500 gram of flour, 1 tablespoon of sugar, condensed milk half cup, that's the 250 ml cup, half of it. Then I'm using evaporated milk, 1 cup. Then I'm adding 50 grams of butter. Then I'm adding half teaspoon of of baking powder i almost forgot to add my butter but my butter was so soft so i just had to knead it into my dough for it to get into my dough with ease so make sure you use soft butter when making your chin chin this is what your dough should look like i didn't need to add water the quantity of condensed milk and evaporated milk gave me the liquid i need to get my dough together so look at this dough looking rich as in the rich you can see it is it it is you can feel it from the screen so we are going to cut this chin chin recipe two ways you can decide to do method one or method two whichever method you want to use you will love this chin chin recipe i use one tablespoon of sugar because the condensed milk has its own sugar and to me it's okay if you want to add more sugar it's up to you but for me i don't want jedi jedi <laughs> the, the one tablespoon of sugar is fine by me if you make this changing recipe for any Christmas, any occasion, or any kind of family get together, I think they will love it. It's so beautiful in terms of the cost of the ingredients I used and their measurement, and the taste is heavenly. I use vanilla flavor as my um the flavor I use for this recipe. You can decide to use milk flavor if you have milk flavor. Just use two tablespoons. So that is for that. So I did roll my changing till. Um, the way I like it and I just cut it tiny tiny. I love this tiny shape. That is what I wanted to go for today So I took my time you saw me the way I took my time to really cut this chin chin to look this tiny and even It looks more presentable. It looks more appealing and you need to watch till the end to see how it looked even after frying So now I just rolled another portion of my dough I did divide my dough into four portions so that it'd be easy for me to roll so that's what I would advise. Divide your dough to portion, different uh, different portions so that it will be easy for you to roll and cut. So this is method two. Method two is bigger than method one. It's another way to enjoy your chin chin. It felt like this chin chin recipe felt like cookies, milk cookies. And because of the amount of butter I used, it wasn't dripping with oil. So the ingredients and the measurements, that's where the cocoa is. That is the key. <laughs> you need to take note of it and that is the reason why i'm going to be giving you for one kg of flow at the end of this video so this is not the video you run away and say uh i've gotten the ingredients my dear watch till the end if you want to get the ones for one kg of flow it is not the same they are different the ingredients is where the magic is you must get it right to get this quality of milk chin chin so i'm done cutting all my ingredients all my chin chin and they are ready to fry you fry your medium heat here i was adding my chin chin the oil was already too hot like you can see the way the oil is frying so i had to reduce my heat to the lowest while adding my chin chin so if you find yourself in this situation whereby you added your chin chin to the oil and the thing is bubbling as if the world wants to end reduce your heat to the lowest and add more chin chin recipe this will bring down the temperature of the oil and help you to fry the way you would like it to fry so you can see my chin chin it didn't get burnt even if the oil was hot using the trick i just told you i'm going to take them out of the oil and keep in a sieve or salve to strain excess oil so i'm adding my method to now the second way i did cut my milk chin chin recipe into the oil to also fry until i have slightly golden brown look I will advise, once you have a slightly golden brown look, take your chin chin, start taking it out of the oil. Because if you want it to really be brown, <laughs> by the time you are taking it out of the oil, it will become burnt or it will be looking dark brown and ugly. So I always stay, stay continuously checking it so that it can brown evenly on all sides. And look at it slightly brown, my dear. Now to pack and come for the oil, we don't want our chin chin to get burnt. So I'm going to just take them out of the oil. And by the time I'm taking the last batch, you will see that the brown color has deepened a bit so that's why you take it out early it will still become okay look at it it's now deeper than the way it was after frying wow 
And this is the changing, the changing of the century, the milk changing that everyone needs to try. Your family, your friends will love this changing recipe. It is so amazing. When you take a bite, you say, am I eating cookies or changing? It doesn't feel oily because of the butter quantity and all other ingredients put together. This is so good. Now, let's move to the ingredients you need for 1 kg of flour. For 1 kg of flour, you need 2 tablespoons of sugar. Half teaspoon of salt, condensed milk one cup, that's 250 ml cup, evaporated milk two cups, that's 250 ml cup, butter 100 gram, baking powder one teaspoon, milk flavor one pack if you're going for milk flavor, nutmeg one teaspoon, and vanilla essence four cupfuls if you're using vanilla essence. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Do like, share, and subscribe, and see you in my next one. Bye bye.